What's up guys? You already saw a video where I put Tristan through a leg session with another one of my clients, but here we are again. He's joining me for my last hard leg session with somebody else that I'm actually putting in a vlog who was in, uh, where were we just, New York? New York, New York, New Jersey. So we were in New York slash New Jersey. Yeah. And uh, we all trained at a Jersey barbell together and you all will see that probably before this video, currently working on it. Um, but Daniel's a freak, he won Charlotte Pro. Uh, we became really good friends there. I've seen him now like five separate times and just right. randomly it shows, right. which has been really neat. Um, so I'm be putting Daniil and Tristan, who is currently my client, through a leg session. Probably gonna be pretty brutal. Again, last hard leg session of my prep. Uh, so it's cool to have Daniil and Tristan both here. Pick my ass. Yeah. Three. Yeah, three. So three sets here. Uh, my rep matching the first set like 15 to 25 on the first set. It's gonna be pretty hard. I'm subbing this out, guys, for uh, my glute ham raise, which was what was initially programmed on this day. But again, I take out the really super duper essentially damaging exercises and when I'm deep, deep in the prep, since I am a week and a half out and I have had hamstring curls in this muscle cycle on the other day, it's not a novelty stimulus. It's nothing that's not gonna be too crazy three sets, I won't be too sore, and this will be safer. Did you take out RDLs? I did my last stiff leg session in in New York. Yeah. My hamstrings are dying after stiff leg. Yeah. I was like, literally, I was like, I should have just taken them out already, because like, every rep, I was like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting the shakes really bad. Working. Yeah, it was fucking bad, dude. How many reps here? Uh, I'm just warming up, so. Let me just make sure this is clicked all the way in. This is the sit right here. Oh, there we go. I've seen that shit fly off. I've seen it go. My toes here. Oh, so long. Right? You can actually feel the hamstrings in the outer. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. Is it auto? Yeah. So for Tristan's channel. Um, he's really just modifying a couple things today because he wants to come jump in with me and train pretty hard. Leg resist is in place of leg press. Outside of that, the only thing really changing is the exercise order. He's doing his seated leg curls now, whereas he usually does them last. And we had a conversation on my channel about that. He says he gets a good connection with his hamstrings. He usually does them at the end. He likes to do quads first, just lower weaker body part. But he's fine with doing this today, I think. But still gonna do really well in his uh, leg press performance and his squat performance. And it's not too crazy novel of a stimulus. I believe he's also in his overreaching week. So yeah. we're both basically in our last hard week of training before we take a deload slash I'm going to be peaking. So it should be a fun one. Yeah, last week after the technique modifications, I was like, oh, but this feels like hell week. So oh, yeah. And then we're basically just killing the needle. He probably trains hard anyway. <laughs> That's it. This three minute rotation is going to be good for me because I'm just going to be a lazy piece of shit between all my sets. So, way on the fucking ground. It's okay. Once we get to the light press, I'll be, I'll be okay with a little bit more. Oh, I'm going to be fifteen. Well, it's going to be 15, 25. Okay. For the first set. And on the second set, we're going to do like a rest pause, basically. Okay. So rest pause matching the first set. You press slow that easy. Huh? Slow that easy and tricky. How many? So he has a couple of these exercises on his, on his mess cycle already in the app. So I'm going to have him at least match or do what the app is having him do on those specific exercises. Obviously, when we get to leg extensions, he's not doing those, he's doing leg press instead. So we'll go in, we'll swap out that exercise, and he'll just be doing what I'm doing for today. Uh, but everything else that's on there, like squats, lunges, he's gonna do that specifically for what the app is selling him to do. 
I am good. Gotta get it. Come on. Boss, what do you have? Plus 21. 21. That was the half had to do? I mean, it's 20, but different machine, so. You know, you're close to a show and you're fucking 10 head veins. <laughs> <laughs> you're matching that for your unplugged? Yep. You're getting down that? Yep. Right. I'm gonna match it the same way. They're all the same. Control. Hold them there. Come on, push. One more. One more. Woo! Good half it. Good So now the next one, basically what you're going to be doing is going until you're about one in the tank. So you might get like 15 rest balls at the top. And then until you get to 19. So if you get 14, pause, three, pause, two, and you do it. Here. Oh, yeah, it does. Fucking count for me. I've been to my gym. Yeah. Why do you do the Yeah. I did the second pause with the top of I love it because it also makes you go full range of motion before it counts the fucking record. That's what I hate about it. Yeah, I love it. You have to fully open food. Come 
Break it drop. All the way up. Full stretch. There it is. Three, three, three. Hey, come on. Good God. What was that? Get me out of this thing. Oh, oh. Get me out of this thing. Oh. It's a fun story. Fun story about Bart. We were putting him through a little pump session, and he kept counting like 15, 16, 17 reps on you know, this chest press over here. And I was like, Bart. How many do you think you did? He was like, that was like 14. I was like, look at the machine. It was like eight. <laughs> at least 14. At least 14. <laughs> the machine's read eight. I was like, Bart, come on, man. You gotta count. One, one, two, three. Of course. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> That's why three sets, I think the needle's gonna be good. Uh -huh. Three sets here, maybe two sets on leg press for you. One or two sets of the squats and like a set of lunges. That'll be fine. Like you see a lot of people doing like uh, five sets per exercise, seven exercises. Nah, it's ridiculous. And you keep injury pretty low like that too. Hell yeah. So muscle activation. Yeah, it's just the technique. Really good technique, slow and controlled, full range of motion. Yeah. Shit like this, the intensity techniques. We're going to do a mile rep max on leg press too. Your butt hamstrings are hurting to sit Mile rep max on leg press too. All right. So. Like I said, a week and a half out, last hard leg session. My top sets were heavy as fuck. So I actually reduced the load a little bit there. And I still, it was really hard to get my reps. I have no glycogen left. Um, more than likely gonna be doing the same thing on leg press. Um, for this last week, you're not gonna be losing muscle tissue, especially if you're an enhanced athlete like myself. Um, so getting in here and getting some volume in, even for reducing load and just doing intensity techniques, it's absolutely fine. It's actually probably better. It's gonna reduce the risk of injury, taking out the super essentially damaging exercises. All those types of things are really intelligent for somebody who is that close to a show. I'm not gonna come in here and try to back squat 800 pounds, deadlift 600 pounds, whatever. Crazy shit you see people doing. That's how people tear muscles before shows, especially if they're introducing stuff like AIs, aromatase inhibitors, which basically dry out your joints and connective tissues. So for me, Stuff like this, reducing load here and there. It's gonna be completely off from the app, but again, that's why the coaching portal is gonna be integrated into the app and why we're gonna be able to have access to that. So the app gets you through massing, it gets you all the way through cutting. Those last few modifications for a show, you can still use the app. You just go in and you do what you think you can do without getting hurt, basically. So I'll talk a little more about that, a little more educational format. Whenever I have a brain again, and I'm doing some of the uh, sit-down educational videos about contest prep. So, for now, keep that in mind. Um, get to the late press. Okay, so basically, we're working with everybody's specific anthropometry, which I always talk about. You guys have seen me talk about that a million times. Daniil's a little more narrow. He has really fucking good hip and ankle mobility. So Daniil's a little more low, narrow, you're gonna see in the video. Um, 
opens the hips really well, gets super deep. Uh, Tristan's more like me, ankle mobility's not really quite there. That's why he has on the Nikes. I have on my uh, Adidas power lifts. Mine have an inch heel lift instead of three quarter. So me and Tristan have a little bit wider stance, more of a hip open toe out. The kneel's a little different. So you guys, for your anthropometry, keep those kinds of things in mind. If you're lower on the pad, you're probably gonna have to point the toes out a little more. If you're higher on the pad and your hips are wide, that might make up for the toes not being pointed out as much. Play with your foot position, get as much forward knee flexion as possible. That's gonna benefit your quads way, way more. So again, I, uh, I mean that last week, my load re is reduced from the previous week. I'll try to remember to put those cards up here, but you'll see I was 495 for sets of 10 to 15. This week I did 455 for sets of 10 to 15. Uh, lowering the load to get more reps is a good idea. Just deep in the prep. Again, not worried about the weight in the bar. I'm worried about coming in here and getting the fucking volume in. So we're going to move on to squats. And then I, I will potentially cut out lunges too because lunges are one of those exercises that cause a shitload of eccentric damage to my glutes. Lunges are one of the best glute builders. Um, because my glutes need to come in for my show, I try to stop training those about two weeks out. Um, it creates less inflammation, and as you guys know, DOMS, or delayed onset muscle soreness, actually inhibits the uptake of blood glucose into glycogen quite a bit. So if I'm going into this next week with sore glutes, as I begin my carb up, my glutes might not look the way I want them to look because I'm not uploading, or I'm not uploading, <laughs> uptaking that uh, blood glucose into glycogen and really filling out my glutes the way I want to. So lunges might also be taken out. We'll see how I feel after squats. Um, we're gonna get to squatting. I'll be making a little bit of modifications to their technique on this as well. Especially Daniil, I assume. He hasn't really squatted with me before. So let's get to it. Wider. Toes out. Hips open. Just like point press. Knees forward. Big chest. There you go, yeah, look like. Big chest, it's the flocks. Yep, quads. It's open. Yes! Yes! Again. Good job, Nathan. That's good. So you guys are going to notice the cues that I'm giving to Neil are to control the eccentric more, keep the hips open, and push the knees forward. You want as much forward knee flexion as you can get, which is why we added the prime wedge for Daniil here. Um, this technique's pretty fucking solid for people who have watched squat for the first time, but there's really finite detail that we can work on. Controlling the eccentric much more, especially through that mid-range of motion all the way to the end range and then making sure he's using his quads on the way up and not shooting his hips back. So we fixed all those things pretty well. He, caught, he catches on really fucking quickly, so his next couple sets are gonna look really pristine. It's fucking treat training with people like Tristan and Daniel because they catch on really fucking quickly. They're very open and receptive to these technique modifications. It makes my job very easy.
I'm done. <laughs> Taking the lunges out, like I said. Um, since I'm not doing my lunges, they actually have programmed Bulgarians, so they're gonna do the Bulgarians. I'm gonna give them those same coaching cues I kind of did with Tristan last time. We're gonna see how bad we can hurt uh, Daniil today, guys. It's gonna be fun. Uh, in insert Daniil's wincing face here. And uh, <laughs> let's see what happens. Jared looks pretty fucking dead. All right, everyone, that was the session. I want to say a great thank you to my good friend, the 2023 Charlotte Pro Champion, Daniil. Thank you for having me. And thank you to Tristan for not just being in the videos, but also helping me a lot with like, the content. And also, Tristan came in here. I'm pretty brain dead. And when Daniil was struggling, Tristan came in and gave a lot of really good cues and stuff. So he's catching on super quick with the coaching that I've been giving him. And it's a fucking treat. It's a real treat to have be able to train with people like Daniil and Tristan just because they're technicians, man. It's like it makes me want to keep up with them almost and I, you know we all slip here and there on a rep or two and try to we get in the zone too much maybe we're producing a little too much force and then everything gets all wonky but then you watch them go and you're like fuck my technique has to look just as good or better than that and if it doesn't i'm a failure so no it's just really cool to have that kind of mentality and the same sort of people surrounded with you because you just kind of keep each other in check and the session was fucking solid Tristan set a damn good standard for what an overreaching week should look like. Daniil came in, yeah, I didn't find with not knowing what to expect, I don't think. And no, I'm I'm learning. I'm soaking everything in, so I'm going to be utilizing a lot of this stuff and probably messaging yeah. form, uh, video Please. forms, and stuff like that. So. Please, and maybe in the future they'll both be out here in Vegas, and uh, we'll be doing a whole bunch of this shit. Hopefully, Tristan, how do you feel, man? How was that? You did a whole mess of cycle already under me. So yeah, we're almost done, but uh, it's definitely. Uh, crazy experience already so far i mean i learned that i was bitching out of a lot of my movements <laughs> you think you're going hard and you think you're just going hard slamming your head against the wall every week yeah. and then you realize that that accumulation phase makes the biggest difference in the world so that you're at a point where you're actually able to handle extreme amounts of volume so yeah. that with added nutrition adjustments is definitely made a big effect on how i'm feeling and i'm just excited to be able to work with two amazing pros both of you guys are clearly well he's amazing i'm games. like a the world's okay si throw. So. No, as you guys know. Awesome. <laughs> but yeah, so you said, uh, just because, you know, I'm going to pimp the fuck out, yeah, guys. I need, not Lambos like Mike, but something a little less. Honda Civics? I need Honda Civics. The app's been nailing it, right? Literally every session. It's been spot on with my uh, progression. So I don't know if it's, I don't even, I don't know if it's the mental cue, of, which is enough in itself right. to be like, just push one more rep. But um, it's been pretty spot on. Yeah, and it's been cool, man. Like, even just you sending your technique videos from, being on video to being in person, there are just really minor technique cues that I give you and you're like, shit, that made it even harder. Yeah. So it's cool to be able to see your clients in person, yeah. be able to like train with your friends in person and just like, hey, this little thing you did there that I might not have caught on the video, I just caught that shit, just cut it out. So uh, they were on my ass, I was on their ass and we all just got a damn good session. It was awesome. Daniel, hey, Jared's dying right now, so yeah. Putting it up for YouTube. I don't know how he's filming content really so much. Well, see, this is the way I look at it. Here's my IQ, and then now I'm a normal person. I'm just kidding, guys. But I'm not. I'm dead that serious. I'm going to be talking about it. I think you have the right to be. Yeah, I think you're good. So now I'm just a normal person doing normal people shit. It's great. I like well, living like normal this. Normal people shit at 4% body fat. <laughs> No, seriously, guys. Thank you, Daniel. Good the man. You, Love you. you. Tristan, you're the shit. Uh, all that YouTube stuff, guys. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Follow these guys. Daniel, I'll put his Instagram and everything. Do you have a YouTube man? I do. Um, it's called Fabodi Fitness. F-A-B-O-D Fitness. We'll put that up, and then you guys already follow Tristan. And if you don't, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> uh, we'll put his YouTube and everything in the description as well. Guys, see you next time.